appreciate being accommodated uh, tonight. Uh, and I know there are many, many speakers, and I will keep to uh, my allotted time. First of all, I just want to, first of all, I'm not the, well, I don't mind being a leader. We need leaders. We need many leaders. But uh, I, I'm here tonight. I mean, when I was asked to be here, it was a no-brainer, of course. What kind of question is that? I first of all want to thank Rabbi Gershon Tannenbaum also because, yeah, sure. Because he opens his shul, because he's there. I mean, I know personally, over the years, whatever it is that involves the Jewish community, and I ask him, would you join us, Rabbi Gershon Tannenbaum? I mean, I don't think he has ever said no to me. I mean, you know, it should be coming soon, that no. But uh, really very, very special person. Not, not only is he very special, but he has a tremendous Rebetzin. Uh, Rebetzin Tannenbaum, you know, really also very special in her own right, is very, very involved. You know, this, this issue, going back, it's approximately a little over two years ago. I mean, I'm in office a long time, and I'm not afraid to tackle any issue that comes to me. If a person has a problem, whatever it is, we like to do our homework, we like to get to the bottom of it, we don't just jump, but whatever it is, I have never in my life, before I was in elective office, or while in elective office, have never shied away from a challenge, from trying to do what is right. So this is such a no-brainer, you know, this, it, it's, it's even, you know, to, to, to even be praised for being involved in this issue. It, it doesn't make sense, it's crazy. We're talking about the lives of people. We're talking about children. I mean, that's what it's all about. What could be more important in this world? What could be a more important task for one to undertake? than to be involved in trying to deal with this problem, with this issue. It's a very complicated, very difficult, as I have learned. You know, one of the things I've learned, you can't satisfy everybody. You can't make everybody happy. You know, many things that I did, in fact, that got involved in this issue, uh, you know, nobody was happy. This one side was not happy. Why are you getting involved in this? You're embarrassing the community and all the other uh, narishkeit, silliness, I I even beyond that, outrageous. I mean, is there any doubt in anyone's mind that God wants us to deal with this? What kind of, what kind of, of course not. And then you have those people who, if you're not, if you don't follow exactly what they want you to do, some of the advocates that it's also no good. You know, it's, it's a very difficult line to walk, to try to make a difference. And Baruch Hashem, thank God, that God has given me the strength. My kids have given me the strength, my sons who are very involved. And to do the right thing, to pursue this, to continue to, to deal with this as we deal with it, I would say every single week, without going into details, and, and I have a lot of plans in terms of what we're going to do. One of the things I've always emphasized is that the work that I have tried to do and that I will continue to do involves in particular communities like Borough Park. You know, the, the Haredi community. It's a whole different, uh, you know, a whole different animal, right? To, to deal with that. It's a whole different situation. So I want to say tonight to the people that are listed, to the people that are listed that are, that are going to be speaking to you, I want to say to them, they're the heroes, they're the people who are involved in this on a day-to-day day -day basis. They have put their entire heart and soul, everything, into trying to save lives, right? The greatest thing that a person can do is to save a life. And that's what they are doing every single day, the people that you're going to be listening to. So I, again, uh, you know, the few minutes that I still have, the two or three minutes, uh, you know, I'm not going to go into any kind of detail, but I'm happy to see there's a crowd. 
there has been a huge change. Now I would say, you know, from one to ten, you know, when we start, when I started talking about this publicly, you can imagine, you'll read about it in a book one day that I'm going to be writing. You, the things that went on, the, it was unbelievable. The reaction, the, the, you know, it's not true, there isn't really such a problem, blah, 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 and all the, all the rest of it. But things have really changed. Now you can talk about it. I spoke about it on the radio a couple of weeks ago. We had a show, and you know, it was okay, because people got used to the idea. They know there's a problem. Because everyone seems to know someone who went through something. How many people have I met who said, yeah, I remember, uh, you know, a teacher or someone in the community who touched me, I remember, and never did anything about it. The hope that we have given people. So, yeah, we have made progress. From one to ten, I would say maybe one. Ten is the, well, we get all the way there. Well, maybe at a one. Maybe one and a half. Maybe, I'm not sure. We have a long way to go. But it's a big difference. It's huge what has already happened. More and more recognition. I mean, right before the summer, we have uh, the, the person here, right before the summer, I went to a meeting, I sat in the back and I had such a no, such pleasure. I was, it was wonderful to sit in the back and not have to say anything. And in this room you had maybe over a hundred people from uh, administrators of camps. Men, women, all came together. Chaim David Zweibel, Rabbi Zweibel was there. You had experts in this field there. And they were talking about this problem, preparing everybody for the summer. That's wonderful. That's amazing. Miracles. Little ones. Little miracles, but miracles. Really fantastic. I go to yeshivas in, in Borough Park. I don't want to mention names where they say, look, you see, we now have windows. You can look into the classroom. Unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. I, I even have yeshivas coming to me saying, can you get us some funding? So there could be so that every classroom could be open. No classroom should be where you can't see into the classroom. A lot of good things happening, but we got a long way to go. And all I can say to you is as I leave, I've passed my 10 minutes. First of all, I want to single out. I mean, everybody should be singled out. I'm gonna get into trouble. Mark, you'll forgive me. But this guy, Asher Lipner, you've got to give this guy credit. He's really amazing, I gotta tell you. Amazing guy, you know, just doesn't give up, driven, fantastic. So, I just want to say to you, you know, I, running for re-election, with Hashem's help, I should, should be uh, successful. I intend to devote my time as much and more than ever to do my part to save children. I just want to tell you, that when I listened for, for many months when things were coming hot and heavy in my office and people were coming forward to me, men and women, all from the, our community, all from our community, not from anywhere else. I mean, I, I got to tell you, one of the people in my office actually got a therapist because he couldn't deal with it. He needed a therapist. I was a big shot. I said, I don't need a therapist. I don't... I gotta tell you, my wife will tell you that I went through weeks and months of not being able to sleep, of not communicating at home, because I was so affected by what I heard. And when people come to me sometimes in the community and they say, yes, and this does a schlecht, it's not so bad, I challenge any person who says that, take an hour or two or if you want to take even a week, without showing you names, I will share things with you that will make you sick. That will cause you not to sleep if you don't think there is a real problem. But again, as I said, there is definite movement. 
And I have been talking to leaders in the community, to Dayanim and others, who understand there's a very serious problem and are prepared to deal with it. Maybe not the perfect way that some of the advocates want them to deal with it, but let me tell you, it is unbelievable compared to what it once was. But as I said, only a one, maybe one and a half. We got a long way to go. So with Hashem's help, with God's help, and boy do we need God's help, trust me, on this one, on everything, but on this one. With God's help, with Hashem's help, we will make sure that no child, you know, no child is left behind, that we do everything in the world to make sure there are no more victims to do everything in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And it is really, I got to tell you, for me personally, it is heartwarming to see such a beautiful crowd coming out tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs>